tyres. The world economy is heavily dependent on the transportation sector and tyres are a key enabler for making that run smoothly. But there are environmental challenges to be considered as well. Flexus is the largest Western supplier of two key rubber chemical additives, vulcanization agents and anti-degradants. It's an area of intensive research and development. I sat down with the CEO and CTO from Flexus here at COP28. Well, we're a long way from Ohio. What made you guys want to come out here this time? So Andrew, we are so glad that we came to the COP. Uh, this is a conference which has continued to grow in size and relevance at a global stage. It really has the intersection of sustainability and growth and a big uh, a combination of uh, people from the business world and from the policy making world. And for us, these two elements are at the centerpiece of our strategy. So for us, it's very relevant to be here. And as a sustainability officer, Neil, this puts you at the heart of uh, the kind of thinking that you spend your entire career being busy with. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I think here at COP, we'll find a lot of other chief sustainability officers shows the importance of the topic and we've elevated these inside of many in the business world to the C-suite level. And it's clear in our industry, in the automotive industry, that being sustainable is a right to do business. Our customers require this from us moving forward. Well, let's take this to the studio, have a more in-depth chat about it, shall we? Well, Sandy and Neil, thanks very much uh, for joining us. Great to see you. First of all, tell us a bit about, about Flexus. Andrew, first of all, it's great to be here in this occasion at COP28 in Dubai. Flexus is a global leader in developing and supplying mission-critical additives for the tire industry. Why do I call it mission-critical? It's because without these materials, a tire cannot be produced. Two key raw materials that we supply, a vulcanizing agent that is used in the production process of a tire to mainly cure the tire, and then an anti-degradant, which is used in the tire to protect it from long-term degradation when it is in use. Flexus has had a very rich legacy of being innovative and being first to the market. And as things stand right now, there are three key pillars of Flexus's value to the market, which centers around innovation, sustainability, and supply surety. Now, that's such a specific role to play across the world economies. There must be a lot of challenges in that. The way, Andrew, I look at it is more than challenges. What's the responsibility that we carry as Flexus? And as a global leader, we are supplying these raw materials to almost every tire maker in the world around every geography in some way, shape or form. So clearly, the, one of the major responsibilities that we carry is to ensure that we make our raw materials available to these companies with reliability and with accuracy across all time, particularly in a period when the world is becoming more insular, more deglobalized. And the way we do that is by having a network of plants and assets around the world, which we need to operate with a high degree of reliability, high degree of safety, and above all, continue to make them more sustainable each and every passing day. So we carry our responsibility very seriously, and we continue to be the reliable partners for our customers in the world. So a gathering like COP28, of course, the automotive industry, with which we associate, of course, mm -hmm. tires, uh, is a huge topic of conversation here. What would you like to see included in that debate? So the automotive industry is in the midst of a significant change, uh, once a lifetime change going through. And they are adopting sustainability through the change of their portfolio to EVs or electrification at a very rapid pace. And that objective is being translated to all the supply chain across the portfolio in the automotive industry. Our customers, i.e. the tire makers, also have pretty aggressive objectives to achieve sustainability or full carbon neutrality, and we are a part of that solution. And now I will um, ask my colleague Neil to comment a little more on how we as a company are doing that. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Indeep. So when we think about Flexus and Flexus's sustainability goals, 
they're very much in support of our customer goals, right? So the tire manufacturers have their goals, and Flexus, we are very well aligned with them. And so there's three areas that we focus on. First and foremost is reducing the carbon emissions from our operations, right? We have a, a global uh, footprint of plants around the world, and we need to minimize the CO2 emissions from those operations. Flexus is very proud to have committed to reducing our emissions by 42 percent by 2030, which is in line with the 1.5 degrees C maximum temperature rise, which is of course a big topic of discussion here at COP28. We're also focusing a lot on using sustainable raw materials. Uh, today a lot of our materials are petroleum based, and we've got to move to more sustainable or renewable raw materials. And lastly, we focus a lot on the social and governance aspects of ESG as well. I mean, in terms of those sustainability goals, are there any unique issues that you're having to deal with? Yes, certainly as Flexus, uh, one of our main product lines is anti-degradants, as you know. And 6PPD is a product which we've been using and selling for a long time. Andrew, if you, if you drove here to COP today, either in a taxi or a bus or a car, uh, you use 6PPD in those tires and you're very glad that you did. 6PPD is a product that keeps tires safe, reliable, and working well over their lifetime. But recently we found some un unexpected aquatic toxicity. And so Flexus is now working very hard, taking a leading position in the industry to try and find a replacement for that. So your research and development is constantly evolving. You're always looking at new possibilities. Very true, very true. Yeah, the, the tire industry, I think from the outside, people look at tires and they think they're relatively the same, right? They look the same, they seem to perform the same, but there's a lot of innovation going on all the time in terms of materials, processing, increasing the lifetime, reducing the emissions. It's uh, constantly evolving. And what about your operation concerning supply and delivery? Right, right. So our customers are operating very large, capitally intensive plants, manufacturing facilities. So one of the things we can do to bring a lot of value to them is to deliver over very short supply chains uh, and to deliver on time and with great quality. So our facilities are located very close to our customer facilities and that allows us to be very efficient with our delivery and, and have just-in-time delivery, but also it means we have the shortest supply chains, which is the best situation you can have from a sustainability perspective. The shortest supply chain, the shortest emissions, the least amount of inventory. And we also acquire our raw materials in region. So we try to create an within region supply chain, which is ultimately the best from a sustainable perspective. We talked earlier on about tires underpinning the way all the world economies work. It strikes me at a gathering like this, of course, the focus is on fossil fuels and then you go down a layer and all the sectors eventually get involved one way or the other in their approach to keeping us to 1.5 degrees Celsius. How mindful are you and your teams about the challenges that they've got ahead of them. Yeah, certainly there will be a lot of change in the tire industry to try and achieve that 1.5 and to limit the emissions uh, that come from the automotive industry as a whole. So there's a very clear focus from the tire manufacturers to make the tires more and more efficient and consume less and less energy as they're used. So you have this, this dual mandate of let's make tires last as long as possible and let's have them consume the least amount of energy as possible. And as a material supplier to the industry, it's our job to, to provide materials to the tire manufacturers that can help them achieve those goals. And do you notice with your staff that they are becoming more and more on board with that element to the, to the, to the work that they do? Well, they are clearly because uh, I think as a objective of the company, there's a sense of pride in the team at Flexus when they know that they are enabling a pretty you know, vital transition and transformation in the industry, uh, number one. And number two is, you know, by being more sustainable, by being more energy efficient, it's just the right thing for the business because energy, the prices and the availability continues to become scarce, the price continues to go up. So doing the right thing for the planet is also doing the right thing for the company and its financials. Yeah, that's right, Sandeep. And I, th I think the younger generation really values a company that's doing the right thing. And so we've recently received an Ecovatus Gold rating, uh, which is an external validation of our environmental, social, and governance aspects. And so not only are we saying we're doing it, right, but we're actually doing it and we have the external validation that we're doing a good job of that. And I, I think that's a, a motivational factor for the younger folks. A brief thought. I mean, COP28 is a lot of talk is about going local. 
being the sustainability right, of right. the future. Do you follow that? Absolutely. This is one of our key uh, value propositions that we bring to the industry. We have a global footprint. Our major customers also have a global footprint. We try to be as close to them as possible. And we think over the long run, this will be the winning model. So Sandy, looking at the direction of travel, what's your vision for Flexis for the future? So Flex is at, is at a very critical juncture in enabling this whole transition in the automotive industry through our customers in the, in the world of tires. I'll again reiterate the three key pillars of our value to the industry, which is around innovation. Neil touched upon that. Sustainability, innovation and sustainability are heavily intertwined. And then the security of supply through our asset footprint, which is closer to the customer so it makes it very reliable, but at the same time, it makes it the most carbon efficient in terms of carbon footprint uh, generation. And our objective will continue to be to be a supplier of choice for our customers in enabling them to achieve their objectives in this transitioning economy. Are you optimistic for the future? Very positively optimistic. Uh, again, as I said, we have done it for years. Flexus has a rich innovation legacy. Flexus is originating uh, companies were the inventors of the material that we are actually producing and selling today. And we believe very positive in the next step of our journey. Sandeep, Neil, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew, it was a pleasure to be with you.